here, Mr. Parker. Yes, you are. Mm, yeah. Marcus and Emily Parker, you have failed to notify your airline that you are registered sex offenders. What? Once upon a time in PHC, a married couple gave birth to the cute ass kid. That's in the pretty the hand of God was upon him. But the road ahead of him wasn't easy until he found Christ, whose yoke is easy. Now everything is easy peasy wheezy for cheesy. Really easy picking cheese mixed with joyful living. When you give your life to Christ, life is sweet and creamy. Yum yum, tastes like heaven on a bed of roses. Come, come and see some say that's not the way it is. But uh uh, you don't know the power Jesus gives. You carry your cross after the cross with power he gives. The power that exceeds the wildest dreams and fantasies of Samson. Yep, yep, the power of the spirit. Problem is, you don't know the power given to thee or how to use it so i'm here to teach thee i told you i'm on vacation while i'm on vacation i'ma just float come here mr parker yes, mm, yeah. marcus and emily parker you have failed to notify your airline that you are registered sex offenders what <laughs> mm, what the hell is wrong with you you know that is not a prank that is something serious that is basically a crime you know so worthy stuff but you know it's interesting that this is what they chose to show how you know ridiculous or how much of an un unwanted friend situation these folks are you know um to the other couple but i would say in real life when somebody goes that far to do something like that because this kind of thing can change somebody's reputation forever because you know living a damn age where cell phones are everywhere and people remember bad news more than good news so imagine all the people that heard the name that will spread that that is what is going to soon become facts about them you know so um it's funny that it shows to go to that extreme to show how uncomfortable as a friend it is to have these people as a friend with the kind of pranks that they pull. Look at us, all together again. We just wanted to give you guys a real honeymoon. You just found this crawling under our table. He's, He's crawling? crawling? It's yes. your first time? It's a prodigy. It's a pr Notice the use of language. Just found this crawling under the table. You know, this actually dehumanizes human beings. I wonder if it's in the quest of wokeness of not misgendering and all of that. But now you've reduce the human being you've, you've reduced the baby to an eat to an object even dogs are given more honor in how they are referred to how can you refer to a human being as i just found this crawling under the table you know you couldn't even um since you're obsessed with a gender neutral garbage if that is the case you know you could have said you know i i just found this baby you know the baby could be male female or whatever you know in this weird world but i wonder i wonder why they are but you know it's interesting that before this wokeness i won't be conscious of those kinds of things but thanks to all the wokeness and cancellations and all of that that is now where my mind is going you know i shouldn't be looking at that i should be looking at the comedy Amazing. What are they doing letting us in a place this nice? How the hell did you get us in here? You didn't tell them. They gonna be long gone by the time I get out to my work day. You must be Mr. Parker. Apologies for the change in schedule. Mr. Young has invited you for drinks. All of you. Guys, I need you to be really cool. Can you do that for me? You, when have we ever not been cool? Dad! Literally just released from St. Quentin. <laughs> I got you the best wedding present. What? Why does this Coke not taste cokey? Because it's your mom. I just look at your mom. It's really kind of beautiful if you think about it. No! This you know, it's interesting, but I would say it's okay. First of all, the comedy, the comedy is cool, you know, with the way it's going. But I'll have to comment about the race stuff. You know, if it's where the african-american couple that were uncultured and the white couple that were cultured and sophisticated and prim and you know um buttoned up to the neck you know it would be a different racial story like oh they'll make a racial moment out of it as the whole crowd will make a racial moment out of it but as they did it this way 
you know, by making the white couple the uncooked one, the one that is unsophisticated, and making the African American couple the one that is sophisticated and classy and all of that, and the one that is, you know, um, more um, up there class wise, you know, they navigated that and, you know, it will help people concentrate more on the comedy. So that was a, uh, I can't believe I'm saying a smart move, you know. It's unfortunate how wokeness has ruined everything now. I can't even review without, you know, addressing all these hurdles. Now, picture things going at all. It's cool, Marcus, it's cool. We floating, right? We floating. We floating. Marcus, it's so ah! Let me down! Get your hands off my wife! Sit you down! They have gotten into a situation. This is not beginning to look like that movie that Jennifer Lopez starred in about wedding something where the wedding was overrun by terrorists. So this is an interesting thing, but it adds to the flavor. But that being said, try not to copy and paste so much from other people in your own genre. You know, reach out, look back, look forward, and, you know, embrace creativity. A good story is a good story. Let that lead. You know, you don't have to do something of this nature. You know, this just looks, especially since that movie and this movie, they are not too far apart. It begins to look like a serious copy and paste situation that people won't miss. Ever since he showed up, he turned this relaxing family vacation into total chaos. Who does that? We have been through hell. Why don't we just go back? I knew it. Chicken. There's only one thing left to do, sir. Oh. I've never seen that much water come up a person before. Did I throw up a lot? Your butthole threw up, bud. Oh. You know, and it's interesting. John Cena is now getting more versatile as a actor and you know that is nice that is nice you know that being said the movie the movie is going to be cool it's going to be fun you know unfortunately woke folks are going to have to find something to complain about and all of that but for the rest of those normal folks you know the movie is cool it's funny it's nice so that being said make sure you check out Alfred Rhodes VIP for more Say this prayer or the belief you have not given your heart to Jesus Christ. Dear God, I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came, died, and was raised from the dead to save me. I confess him, Lord, over my life and ask you to give me your Holy Spirit to live within me. I receive your spirit by faith and thank you for I am now born again. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just prayed that prayer, congratulations. You are now a Christian. Go to alfred.vip and get resources that will help you with your work with God.